Mindset is everything. It can take you down a rabbit hole of being a procrastinator, of being unsuccessful, self-sabotage, and even depression. This week was incredibly hard for me in mindset. So here's what I did. Part of my medical issue is restraints on what I can do with my workouts. I need to sleep a lot more to heal. And so it's really affecting my productivity and where I wanna be in my performance. You gotta change your mind, it's a mind shift. Get a list, write down, write down what's got you frustrated and then write down points that you can do to gain ground. So I've got myself a mental coach, someone who's gonna work on firing up exactly what I need to do and I'm reshifting my workouts with an Everybody, are you my mental coach or my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm mental, all right. <laughs> I wanna know, are you the accountability buddy or the mental coach? I'm the accountability buddy, buddy. A little bit of both? Yeah. Am a little I'm... bit from column A, a little bit from column B. Grab yourself a You're support. You're just talking partner. during your workout, don't worry, she's driving about how mindset is everything. Like your success for your workouts, for if you have kids, you're an athlete, whatever is going on in your life, your mindset has to be trained first. That's the most powerful thing. So. So what? So there's 24 hours in a day. You go to the gym, you work hard for that one hour to work your body, but who's working your mind? So when you come home from the gym, you have to have 23 hours left in your brain. It's good to have somebody give you some mindfulness in class. Sure, that's Google why videos. my clients tell me I have the best cool down at the end of class. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, for sure. Get your mind right though. You know you're messed up. We're all messed up. I'm messed up. I'm no different as a coach, but the difference is I have the tools to get me back to it because I've invested, I've invested in, in myself. In Michelle? I'm How invested many? in myself. Yeah, buddy. You got to spend the money on you because guess what? You're the best person in your life. You're the best relationship. So take some money, spend it on you, and invest it on your health and wellness, not just your body, your mind, everything. You're feeling down or depressed or anxious or things aren't going right, come back to gratitude and abundance. Focus on what is going well and what you want more of. Let's climb out of the rabbit hole together and stay focused on the positive side.